chicken. Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back again for another episode. Today we're gonna to be building an aquatic inspired display piece. Let's get it started. It doesn't look like much, but I took this block of wood and I gave it this desired shape then added some grooves. The material you're gonna need, sand, two different types of sand. I got beach sand over here, play sand, more finer. Uh, some resin as I'm gonna use that to apply the sand to this uh, block of wood. Some resin, epoxy. Some brushes, gloves. First, what I'm gonna do is mix up a batch of resin so I can pour it on the sides of this block of wood. And I'm gonna be using the coarse sand for that. Waiting for that to dry and we're going to repeat it on the other side. Now that we have this coarse sand on all sides, we're going to go ahead and place the finer sand right here. So we're going to bring some life to this piece. Now that's set up, let's go put in some kelp. Let's add some palm trees. Now we're going to build a mold wall. This is melamine. We're going to release this as we're going to pour epoxy. So we built our wall, I put hot glue for an extra safety precaution, I'm going to use silicone caulking. Now we wait for the silicone caulking to dry. We're going to release this, I'm using the stoner rocket release, got this from Reynolds Advanced Material in North Hollywood. Now that we sprayed our box mold with release, we're going to go ahead and place this artistic piece back in. Next, we're going to mix up a batch of this epoxy. for this to dry all right now we're going to remove as much of the silicone caulking as we can before we pry it open all right so now that's all tapped away we're going to pry this open I'm satisfied with the translucency of this For this next part, you're going to need some cork. You can pick this up at a uh, hobby shop. Some E6000 glue, obviously our art piece, exacto blade and scissors. So I cut out a piece of cork. I'm going to take this E6000, place it at the base of this art piece. Let's get it started. Now I'm going to use this exacto blade and cut along the edges.
and here we are. Shark head. <laughs>